What's up, guys? It's Daz here. But you don't really care, as we are moving on to more of the Comet Observatory. Also, there are times... This is a new recording session, I should add. But there have been times where this intro of the, vi the video um, is the beginning, and it's not always meaning a new recording session now. Sometimes I'm going over to copy over files on the file select because I don't want to lose all my stuff. You know, I've already learned the last mistake from... That age-old, two-year-old Twilight Princess Let's Play that says don't record in batches and then not save. So now I'm saving it and recording it every time I get. Hey, Gimmo. Bye-bye. Right, we're done with Gold Leaf and Sea Slide, so it's time for... Oh, yeah, I was thinking it was the uh, hidden one at first, but nope. We're moving over to Toy Time Galaxy. We're going to the Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser! Sounds awesome! I... Uh, I was gonna make a long-winded joke about how it's gonna be a massive Metal Mecha Bowser! It just looks like your generic robot toy, which is a shame, really, because there was a Mecha Bowser in the 3D Mario games, but it's not. It's much better. Oh, well. Give me a Welcome to Toy Time Galaxy! We came over in charge of upkeep maintenance here! Welcome to the Toy Time Galaxy! It sounds like a cross between Edgeworth from the Phoenix Wright Whee! and Papyrus, but that's okay. He's, the game must sound always very judgmental as well. Oh well, I'm gonna wait around for this second train, because I'm really wanna know about the dialogue. I don't know, it's a cute thing. Good job, me. This is fun, Lord, but shouldn't we be working? <laughs> There's always that one guy that doesn't like playing games and having fun. That's usually me. I'm always the one that's like, hey, go, everyone's like, go Christmas holiday, settle with home with the relaxing couch. I'm like, no, I'm gonna work 10 to 10 every day. <laughs> that's how it goes, unfortunately. Right, welcome to whatever this is supposed to be, a mesh. It looks like a child's Lego designed a platformer. I should totally do that, actually. That's, that's a great idea. But anyway, my friends are being kidnapped. It's a mesh of all sorts of mechanical parts. If you want to one up, you should go to the wall slide kicky thing up here. But also, there is a 6 HP mushroom we can get in this vicinity, but I'll get to it in a moment. Also, this pink, velvety looking bubble poppy thing causes gravity to go towards it. That's how like, stuff works. If you see a bolt, give it a spin! Like this bolt. You can get rid of it. You can be fun. But now you're trapped in it. There's nothing in it. Now there's a metal. There's a metal mecha Koopa. Plague in my life. Get out of here. Oh well. Well, uh, is that gonna put me down there? Hold on, I wanna be up here. Thank you. Physics are weird, man. Scrap those fire breathing turtle things with a healthy ground pound! Yes, jumping on them will simply stun them and make their jaw break or something until they fix themselves. You have to ground pound to kill them. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> Bless me, I sounded like Mario at the end of that. That was weird. Alright, now there is more to see here. I did get that 6 HP mushroom for a start. I was just sort of exploring my way around. Hello, Mecha Koopa. Get out of here. I don't think there is any. Yeah, no. Sort of, I thought I'd go for a second check, but now, of course, naturally I'm trapped in here again. Always fun. Uh, oh, uh, there we go, yeah. There is a whole section over here. <laughs> What's going on? I think I've got a cold. Ugh, like, ugh, yesterday when I was recording, it was all yawns, today it's all sneeze- I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh my god, hold on. I can see it, I can, I can feel it. Ooh, that's a deep sneeze, but it's coming. <sighs> hold on, give me a moment. Keep running on the side. 6 HP. <sighs> oh, this was horrible. Oh, my eyes are watering and I can't look at it. Can't fix it. Oh my- why is it not coming? Ugh. Now I just feel... Ugh. Now I'm just gross and snotty and slightly soaked in the eyes. Soaked in the eyes? Teary? Uh, whatever. Okay, opportunity. Rub my eye, rub my eye while I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that pretty well for left hand. Right. And... Uh, boop. Oh, now I just feel like extra cold. I don't want to do sniffing throughout the whole video, but... Oh, that's not fun. Oh, well. Here's a... Oh, that was cool. A Spring Mario power-up. Press A at the right moment to bounce high. Boy, I don't like this power-up. A lot of people don't like this power-up. And I remember when I first played this game, I was like, I 
it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's, and I would agree, I quite like this power-up, usually. That was, well, that was my opinion. Until I played Super Mario Galaxy 2, and then I realized I really can't control this thing very well. And now I don't, don't like it at all. It's not so much that it's bad controls, it's tricky controls, because I think that's part of the point. Quite, like, sporadic. Like, I'm trying to get this question mark block, but it's not really going in my favor. There we go. But, I don't know. Not so much a bad one, but I don't like it, because it's hard. That's it to the skies! And it's okay to have a part of a game you don't like. Oh, it can still be a good part of- it can still be a good game, or a good part of the game, even if it's not a part you particularly like. It's a matter of opinion in some cases. I mean, the controls work, they're just... funky. You're all constantly bouncing, you have to control... standing still quite a lot. Like, everything else works mostly well. I did have trouble actually getting the bouncy part, but as long as you mash the A button, I find you're fine, so... Whatever. Now, I believe, yep, there is a secret... way up here. Also, did you notice that? I caught a star bit, but it didn't come in. Now this takes us to a magical place, but I thought it was going to take a while to teleport to us, but no. Have I just lost that star bit I collected? Like, come on. No. Alright, well, the aim of the game here is we want to get to the top and break as few bricks as possible. We've seen this sort of level before, so you can probably guess what's at the top. But I want to do it anyway, if I have any sort of controls. That is a lot of bricks taken out suddenly. Come on. Yes! That one didn't even break any. And then, get the coin and they all turn into star bits. That's why you didn't want to break them or else you miss out. Lovely. That was fun. I am very sorry. I think it's only going to last for today. Uh, this episode, should I say, because then I'm going to... Ugh. Clean myself up and then say what I can do. But now I have to deal with a slightly... Nerdy Cosby voice. That's not, that's not a good voice. To have. Oh, come on! That must have been terrifying for Mario. He like fell down head first. Like he was bouncing on his head and then he was just gone. Okay. Anyway, I like the uh, arrow of star bits in the background there. It looks like it's been drawn on by the pencil. It's really cool. I approve. Now, I really want to get to this block in the middle. Damn this completionistness inside of me, but I I have to I have to find out. It's my thing. Come on. Ooh. That was an accident, but I will take finding a second question mark block. Okay. Obviously you wouldn't be able to get that if you were on, uh, all these question mark blocks were gone, so it, you have to get it first, or at least not fifth. Uh, that laser guy, can he reach me from there? If he can, that would be very helpful, because that would be a lot easier getting back. I'll find out, hold on. You go down, to the left. There we go. About to get real frustrated if that didn't work. So you can buzz at me. Come hit me, come hit me, come hit me, come hit me, 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 hit me. Yes! I wouldn't think I'd be saying yes to that, but it, oh, yeah. And then we come up here, and this is probably doable as Mario, right? And there we go. And that should be the same, right? Ooh. Uh, like this, this, this. No. This. Come on. I'm like, I'm so there. This Mecha Koopa is slightly messing me up. If I could just get above him, that would be perfect, but... I get the feeling that's not going to happen. Okay, okay. Got you, got you, got you. Get out of here, you. Uh, I guess we have to go with Spring Mario. Uh, along a conveyor belt and Mr. Laser Guy. Please don't buzz me. Oh, okay. Good, good. If he doesn't turn while he's fully lengthwise. Oh! Totally saw that coming. Get out of here, you. Oh, it doesn't even affect you. It doesn't stun you at all. You can get out of here, because I'm just frustrated now. Uh, uh, uh. Also, at this point, you may be wondering, Hey, Daz, haven't you been, like, going with this whole notes on a piece of paper thing going? Like, is that not going on anymore? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure it is. Um, it's not this mission, because I forgot to get it out for this recording, because I'm genius. But, um... Whoops, sorry. Actually, I do remember a couple of notes on there, but part of the reason I don't mention them straight away, or like, when I didn't have the paper of notes, um, the reason I wouldn't always mention stuff is I try to find something relevant. Like, I have a slight, minuscule ice skating story to tell, but I was waiting until there'd be a part where we were on ice, and it doesn't look like we are, so do I just say it? Well, 
I guess so. While we're on this plate with a fork, a spoon, a very polygonal spoon, and a glass in the middle, looks like my dinner. Um, what's my ice skating story? Oh yeah, it's very minuscule. When I was younger, I used to go ice, sk ice skating all the time. And then recently, when I went off to Brighton, I went ice skating for the first time in 12 years. I, I can still ice skate. What a surprise. Turns out, muscle memory just came flying in. Oh, okay, you did not see that. But there is snot dangling out my nose. Oh, I'm so glad I was doing that while I was flying. But literally, I was just like talking and I just saw in the bottom of my eyesight this like tiny gray fling thing. And I, oh, that was disgusting. Oh, my arms are just soaked with my own snot. This is, ah, oh, no thank you. Can I, there. Uh, uh, I'm so glad I can do stuff with my left hand nice and easy and keep the nunchucks controls pretty normal. Right, anyway, I tried ducking under the robot while I was complaining about snot. Unfortunately, you can't do it. I'm sure we'll get somehow behind him soon enough. Is that a secret or is this progress? Okay, so this is a secret. And it just takes us, well, I already, okay. Whatever. Um, actually, I remember I was gonna say a lot of things about this mission, like the music here is a reference to something and the music at the beginning is, oh, what was the music? That's, it's called Nostalgia, uh, this general galaxy. And it's uh, obviously an older Mario theme, so it's a bit of like a reference to that. Um, obviously everything here is toy themed. I can't remember anything else. Um, but there is a sort of Mecha Bowser that exists in the 3D Mario games I briefly mentioned. In Super Mario Sunshine, there's this massive Mecha robot thing that you have to fight that looks like Bowser. It breathes fire, it shoots bullet bills, and you have to fight it while riding on a roller coaster and shoot rockets at it. That is a fun mission. And this is just platforming, which is fair enough. That's what 3D Mario is trying to be now anyway. Obviously, I mean, like, that is kind of what it is. So, I don't know, but on top of that, though, there's very much a different style with this game in Super Mario Sunshine. So I feel like even if we did have the old style massive Mecha Bowser, it wouldn't fit in the universe. Like this game is a lot more Lego. It's a lot more like rounded and colorful. Whereas like Super Mario Sunshine, while it was colorful, it was like a little bit more realistic, realistic. Whereas this is a bit more cartoony. I don't know. I don't think it'd be quite nice to have because Mario in 3D world is like 3D games it's definitely become a lot more cartoony, which is kind of what Mario is anyway, so it makes sense, but I kind of like a little bit more of that realism again. Like, not so much full-on, I don't know, just like the dynamic lighting's nice, but I kind of liked what Super Mario Sunshine had a little bit. It's like, it's still fake, like, but, but like, I don't know. It seems somewhat, like, this doesn't seem like it would be anywhere near real. I mean, maybe it's because this is a toy, but still, I don't know. Get us out of here. Oh, my stars. What is this? Oh my stars! Talk, talk to me, dude. What? Here, look. So wait, okay. I'm going to find out this line of dialogue. I have to find out. While well, they're all trapped in his mouth, grin, jaw. Oh my. What? Oh, you're what? Come on. I'm a. Oh. Uh, just don't bounce off the wall, Mario. You know? No, that's not gonna work. Come on, what are you trying to tell me? Oh my, yes. Oh, you're what? Okay, you know what, never mind. Screw it. This guy's giving me trouble. Oh, my stars are simply terrible. Great. Took me taking a life to find out what was going on. Thank you. All right, also, I like how there's an 8-bit Mario in the background. I'd like to visit him someday, but I'm afraid... Nuts. I mean, it doesn't even look like the galaxy the gravity should work that way. It's just a thin panel. It shouldn't really exist. Well, that was quite a turn. I just wanted to get some star bits, but now a whole robot destroyed. It happens. Now then, we could just wait along and let this thing slowly take us along, but I think that would actually get us on the star. What do you have to say? Good job! Yes, are you the one that said all oh, my stars? I think it was. What did you have to say all the way at the back? I thought we were done for. Oh, you nearly are, buddy, because you're nearly off the edge of this place. You, 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 you did it. And I guess I owe you a thanks. Yes, you certainly do. 
But there we go, technically we got behind the machine too. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. Now while I only have to press A, I'm going to get out my notes because I should have done this earlier, but I'm not and I'm an idiot. There we go. Although to be fair, actually, a lot of these uh, topics I've got now are a little bit, like, contextual. Like, by that I mean, um, I got one that talks about a type of thumbnail image, and I'm not going to mention that until we come to the sort of area that has that kind of thumbnail image. Mario meets Mario. Oh, hey, this will have that type of thumbnail image. Perfect. So remember how I was talking about that 8-bit Mario in the background? Also, I like how the background of this other place. You can actually go there. Gravitationally, it shouldn't make sense, because there's nothing really pulling you in. But it's just a flat platform that you can stand on. I mean, we've seen it before. Also, the train is different now. They are connected. Ah, uh, oh, I see. The back of the back one is now attached to the front. The back of the front one. All systems are go! All systems are go! Why? Because I say so! That was not even close to a song, but okay. Uh, what do you say? Who's driving this train anyway? Well, is it not the captain? I mean, he is at the front. That would, that would make perfect sense, no? Oh, well. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. We've got hearts from pencils. That's cool. I like that. Right. Now then, we're going to get some five star chips, and including in part of this place, I know you have to screw a screw through a random piece of land, and then you get to go. It's really odd why that's the case. Like, it's all this star chip flying in the air there. We'll get that in a moment. So, I don't know why. But anyway, I use this as a little break to talk about something. What do I have on my notes? Garage band. Which is literally all I wrote. Um, I guess what I'm probably trying to mention there is this holiday I'm going to be learning a bunch of stuff. I, I dedicate three hours every day now to learning something. Um, I already mentioned what I am learning in the past, but one of the big main ones is garage band. And in order to do that, like, if you don't know what garage band is, I feel like everyone does, it is a beautiful boot. Beautiful, beautiful um, music app that... There's the screwing. That could have been phrased better. It's a beautiful music app where you can basically learn to make music. And I've not touched the thing because I don't really have much of an Apple product. I have an iPod, sure, but I'm not going to get garage bad on that. So I recently... Um, I went home recently, and part of the reason I did that was so I could get my mum's iPad. I traded. I bought her a laptop, and she, got me her, she gave me her iPad, basically. Um... What wasn't fun though is it was the only it was the iPad Mini One, which also welcome to 8-bit Mario. Get some star chips, otherwise we're after five silver coins, uh, silver stars. Um, be careful where you stand. You will need to, especially at the beginning, be conservative. You will need it later. As we run along Mario Zero, I'm going to continue back. Um, the iPad, play the Garage Band, the recent one. You need iOS 10, and the iPad Mini One only goes to I iOS 9. So after spending. Like a good chunk of money just to get home and say hi to my mum. And sure, it was to say hi to my mum and have Christmas meal and all that too. Um, ended up having to trade in her iPad just to get an iPad Mini 2, just so I could get Garage Band, which, by the way, the iPad Mini 2 cost like £225. A little bit less because I traded in my iPad. Um, and now, finally, after all that hassle, I should hopefully have Garage Band. I will probably open it up later today. I haven't actually opened it, I only got it last night. Also, see, this is where you need to be conservative. You're coming right back to the beginning to grab this star. Also, Mario looks like he's got some maggots or something with all that spinning platforms. Gross. It would be cool, though, if you could have seen what you made of Mario, like what was left, but oh well. But yeah, hopefully I will be able to play Garage Band later today, and I'll be able to make some sweet, sweet music for either my films, for my own entertainment, for little theme tunes, which I might do for this channel, it was a short idea, or who knows, maybe I'll make a Game Grumps remix. We shall see. Anyway, we are done here for now on Super Mario Galaxy. So, I'll see you next time. For now, my name's been Daz. You don't really care and I'll see you in a bit.